update with COVID-19 uh, in, the, in the thick of that. We just wanted to have a bit of an interview with Justin Bishaw, our leasing executive. He's at the coalface every day, so you can give us a really good snapshot of what's really going on in the market at the moment. Welcome, Justin. Thank you. Thank you, Matt. Justin, tell us about how demand is going at the moment in the rental department. Yeah, sure. So we're finding that demand for rentals is still quite good, not as strong as it was, say, four weeks ago before yeah. COVID-19. Um, there are a lot more properties um, for prospective tenants to choose from, uh -huh. so the marketplace has become quite competitive. Sure, okay. So in that regard, have we got many actually available at the moment? We do. Uh, we generally have anywhere between 15 to 20 available weekly. Um, currently we have 41. 41, 41. so extra supply mm. and demands lower. That must make it a little bit harder to rent properties at the moment. What are we doing at Doyle's Lane at the moment to try and encourage people to apply for our properties and to rent our properties for our landlords? Yeah, I, I guess our minimum standards for, for marketing, yes. and we'll touch on that, is, is usually yeah. professional photos, um, floor plans, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, pre premier features on our real estate portals uh -huh. to, to gain that maximum exposure. Uh, as well, we have our own internal database. so contacting prospective tenants on our database a couple of times a week to advise them of you know, new properties available, reductions um, in prices. Um, just for example, we have currently on our database 157 tenants looking for two bedroom accommodation uh -huh. um, and we have 134 looking for one bedroom accommodation. Um, also at times like this, it's imperative that properties are available to be to be viewed when a tenant when a when a prospective tenant can view so it. So by appointment, by obviously appointment, we're not doing the open for inspections. That's now. correct. No, yeah. so we have an online booking system, um, so tenants can choose any day, any time of the week that they want to inspect. Um, most of our properties have video walkthrough tours um, available, yeah. um, and you know tenants can you know be pre-approved for a property um, if they cannot physically inspect. So what you're saying is a tenant can have a look at the photos, they can have a look at the online video, That's right. and they can get a bit of an idea on the property, then they can actually put in an application which qualifies that they're ready, willing, and able to That's act, right. and then you can actually approve them before um, they've had a physical inspection. That's right, exactly. Yeah, okay, exactly. That's, so, a, that's a bit different. Give us a little bit more perspective so, on that. With some tenants uh, being hesitant about inspecting properties or possibly being yeah. uh, in isolation and unable to do it uh, in person, yeah. if they if they like the look of it from the, the video tour, as you yeah. said, um, they can apply for the property. Um, we can process and screen their application as we normally would. Yeah. Yeah. Um, when we get the application, and again, if the landlord and the tenant agree to the terms, yes. um, then we can arrange a, a physical inspection. Go okay. from there. So they're very well qualified, good quality That's right. tenants that are doing that. Mm. Absolutely. And uh, in terms of landlords at the moment, a lot of landlords are feeling the financial pressure at the moment. So what are we doing for them at the moment to, to try and sure. encourage them um, to get their property lease? Best advice we can give to landlords uh, at the moment, if the property is vacant, yeah. obviously making sure the marketing is right, as we mentioned, yeah. um, being flexible on terms. So, what I mean by that is, usually we push for longer leases. Um, you know, but if a tenant wants a shorter lease, say a six-month lease, um, maybe that's okay in this current climate. Yes. Um, get competitive um, with the rent if you can afford to. So, you know, it's better to get twenty dollars less a week. Um, then potentially lose you know a whole week's rent while it's yeah, sitting there vacant. Two or three. Weeks. Two or three. Um, also, mm. really good time you know if the property needs a freshen up. Yeah. Um, trades are currently not as busy as they you know usually would be. So uh, yeah, they may be available to to come in and potentially you know get some works done at a, a cheaper cost potentially. Um, yeah. And if they don't have other work scheduled, so there's always that route. Excellent. That gives us a bit of a snapshot. So what Justin's really saying is for landlords price the properties well, make them competitive, have them clean and tidy, and then it's gonna come down to the skill and the negotiating skill of the agent in these tough times right. to match up the tenant and the property and marry them up and making sure that even if the rent's a little bit lower than what it would otherwise be, as long as it's a good qualified tenant with right. good employment and very good references, at the moment, that's the way to go. So thank you for um, your information. Thank You're you. at the coalface every day. I know it's not easy at the moment, but you guys are doing a wonderful job out there. If you need any help on leasing or any part of real estate, even if you just want to pick up the phone and get some 
advice on what's going on or what your property would lease for or any investment advice, our team are happy to help. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon. Thank you, bye-bye.